How is everyone? Good. Beautiful day, huh? Yes. Well, I'm very thankful to Matoy and Muna for uh, opening this space and bring the voices of the elders, the Mayan elders. Uh, I have here a, a, a little document and I want to, well, they sent to share with you. So I'm going to read it for you. From the highlands of Central America, Council of Mayan Elders, on the 11th month of the year 2011. Greetings to the people of the four directions, all children of the colors of the earth. To our dear sisters and brothers of the north, we want you to know that your struggle has always inspired us to keep fighting for our survival. We see how you wrestle the cruel U.S. government oppression that treats you as a refugee in your own homeland, and that gives us strength. We witness that the U.S. government, after hundreds of years of criminal actions against you, could not and cannot destroy your dignity, honor, and spirit. And that, sisters and brothers of the North, give us strength. This time, dear sisters and brothers of the North, is a new sunrise for our nations. Our ancestors, our elders, are calling us. They are not trying to convince us to be part of a religion, a political ideology, or gain social status, fame. They are not calling us to overthrow the government and put a new one. They are not telling us to vote for this or that one. Our ancestors, our elders, are asking us to struggle for life. And it only can be life if there is freedom, justice, dignity, and peace. For this reason, this one has been and continue to be the struggle between those who want life and those who want death and have greed. And we, the indigenous people, have always chosen the struggle for life. That is to say, freedom, justice, dignity, and peace. Saludos, compañeros y compañeras. We also want to honor the oppressed people of the world, that in the last months we have witnessed how their fearless fight crushed the tyrant rulers that for years the U.S. government supported. And today they are free people once more. But let's be clear, the greed for money and power has not been defeated, and greed gives birth to the tyrant rulers, CEOs of corporations, corrupt politicians, who are already busy finding ways to continue exploiting us and bleeding to death our Mother Earth. We must stay on alert. Hasta la victoria siempre. long after 
after everyone is gone. So we challenge the United States government. We challenge the politicians. We challenge the people of the United States to honor the true history of this sacred land. The real illegal immigrants came a hundred, a couple of hundred years ago. They came over those great waters. They came to our homeland with greed in their hearts. Not because of religious freedom, as you are told. With their greed, they slaughtered our, with senseless violence our elders, our women, our children, our men and they stole our lands and our wealth. And this greed is still continues oppressing us today. We know that since then, many, many things have changed for us indigenous people. Some things, however, remain unchanged. The lack of political will from the government and society in general to respect our sovereignty ongoing violations of our rights to our lands that we live on and depend on for assistance. The pressure to assimilate despite the fact that to embrace and preserve, and preserve our way of life and culture is synonymous with long life discrimination, hardship, illness, and death. So let the truth be told. We the indigenous people of Central, Central America, Sud America, Mexico, are not illegal immigrants in this land known today as United States. No, no way. Way. We journey freely with a passport these sacred lands for thousands of years, and the evidence is everywhere. Right. Under their own existing laws, this is considered grandfathering. You know that, right? Grandfather. Okay. We are exiled here because of the brutal political and economical imperialistic policies of the United States in our homelands, in our countries, for more than a hundred years, imposing and supporting dictators, financing crazy armies, trafficking drugs and weapons, money laundering robbing our natural resources, and sponsoring ethnic cleansing, corrupting our way of life, and spoiling our future. We see that you embrace the refugees from faraway lands, that you open your homes to protect them from the Hitlers, the Stalins, the Gaddafi, the Saddam Husseins of the world. And you, as a country, you are at my everywhere for that. But, but why do you close your eyes to the genocide <clears throat> against indigenous? But why do you close your eyes to the genocide against indigenous people of the Americas, the natives of the land that you call home? Why? We are not asking you for a special treatment. We are demanding justice. Right. In the spirit of Masasoy, Wamsuta, Slow Toro, Sam Sepio, Tecumseh, Tatanka Yotanka, Geronimo, Tasunke Witko, Wauxemo, Kanek, Tecumuman, Atanasio Tsu, Tupac Amaru, Zapata, Commandante Ramona, <coughs> these was our simple words sent out to the noble hearts of those simple and humble people who resist and rebel against injustice all over the, the world. Tell we, Mete